Hi guys, welcome to Microsoft Power Tools channel where you learn everything about analytics, automation and productivity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed image in your emails from Power Automate and I'm going to use two examples. One, we just embed an image while the other one, we add link to that image so that when you click on it, it leads you to somewhere. And to achieve this, I've already designed my image, which can be found in this folder I call Embed Image. Let's just have a look at it. It is asking you to subscribe to my YouTube channel in case you haven't and you also want to learn more from my channel. I will encourage you to subscribe right now and click on the notification bell. That way you will be able to get notified anytime learning resources and videos drop. Okay, let's get back to work. I'm going to create a an instant flow now, just a manner one. Embed email, embed image, call it embed image. All right, and what we have to do first is to locate where the image is. And how do you do that? I'm going to say get file content, which the one from OneDrive. But this time around, pay attention. Don't you, you can use the get file content, but I'm using get file content using part. When I click on this, it will ask me to locate my image, you know, right away. And I'm going to locate the folder, which is images, embed image. So I have it now. The next step is to add a, to initialize a variable, initialize variable. And here I can call it embed image link. And the type should be string. And what you need to do right now is to copy and paste the code snippet that I put in the video description section. Don't forget to add an opening tag here. It is not allowed on YouTube, that's why I couldn't add it. And close it with, you know, the closing tag. Alright. And in between B64, before the code, I have to add an expression. And my expression, I put full stop. Add content. Then go to dynamic. Come to the beginning of this uh, expression and go to dynamic content and hard file content. Then click on OK. That way you'll be able to insert it here. Okay, you can save at this juncture. The next is to add you know action card. I want to send an email now. I'll be sending this email to myself. I will say mail with you know image mail with image and what do I want to do here you can go ahead and just add the embed image link this way and I'm going to set the my, my mail important don't forget to set your mail important to at least normal then I'm going to say so now that I have the embed image link automatically the image will be embedded so let us give you the test at this junction. I'm going to test. Awesome. So the test is successful. Let me now get back to my email now and see if I can find it there. Mail, you can see. All right. Fantastic. We have it now. Microsoft Power Tools. You see, this is my Outlook on the web. If I go to the Outlook on my desktop, I have it as well. Awesome. Don't forget, this is the first attempt. The second one I'm going to show you now is how do we embed the link so that once you click on the image, you can take it to wherever yeah, you want it to take you to. Okay, this is a simple logic. I'm going to just add something and call it link. And when I click on this link, then I'm, I'm going to use this link option here. Let me add the dynamic content. Okay. I will be directing to I will be directing to my YouTube channel. Okay, click on this and add. The reason why I'm doing this first is to be able to convert in case you can't write HTML. So once you do this, you will be able to see the link, the normal HTML tags, and what you need to make use of. Let us see in the next uh, part now. This tag here is code view. When you click on this code view, you will see the code behind the email you are sending, you know, in the HTML format. Now that I've clicked on it, now you can see the code view. All right, I'm going to add another break. I'm going to add another break by saying BR. 
and I'm going to say I'm going to type here this second then I'm going to also break it so that you know it's on a new new line don't forget the R now this is it it is linking to this however the word link is what I need to change I need to change this back to this embed image link so I'm going to insert embed image link that way we have replaced that with the embed image links all I have to do is just to save and now that I've saved I'm going to test again Vaola our flow is also successful so let us check our email and see if we can if we have this new image now all right so I have it has landed in my mail and I have to email don't forget I put BR I break it twice that is why we have this gap and I didn't break I only break once that is why we also have this uh, here as you can see it shows a sign the one here does not show any sign this one shows a sign that way I'm not only prompting my audience to subscribe to my YouTube channel but they can actually click and when you click now it takes you straight to my channel page where you can subscribe all right I'm going to close this how will it display on my desktop okay, I'm clicking on this okay awesome nice display and you also notice that the first one does not have any mouse indicating that an image is uh, URL is embedded but when you come here you're going to see that a URL is embedded if I click as well it will launch YouTube and go straight to my channel awesome if you are truly learning and you're enjoying something more videos like this will keep coming don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button right now and click the notification bell so that I don't get to miss out any of these videos whenever they drop. Thank you and see you in the next video.